like a turtle dove, never my heart When your heart is oh, nice go, on, it's as well to be aware. <laughs> this is somebody <laughs> Service for the champion. Do you mind? I was under there. Sorry, I didn't know you were under there. I thought you were Raymond. There are a couple of differences. You are. I wouldn't worry about it. So, are you finding being being a barmaid assistant to the steward is, is giving you occupational satisfaction? I beg your pardon. Good phrase, that, isn't it? it? You were in the Times Supplement last week, that. It, it means you like the job. Oh, well, it makes a change from enjoying yourself. Hey, can, can I buy you a drink? I've taken for it, that's why you've got no change. <laughs> Thought you'd have gone up again. Where's Raymond? Oh, he's just popped out to do a little job for me. Do a job for you? I, I thought you were going to be his assistant. So did he. <laughs> Cheers. You what? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Have you, have you been collecting any good train numbers lately, have you? <laughs> I saw you on the Valley Banks with that, Maurice. And have you bumped into any good car numbers lately? <laughs> I saw you. Didn't hurt my bike. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why our Maurice is so interested in trains. I think when my mum was having him, she must have been frightened by the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> It, it, it's a train, is that? You know, it, it's fantastic. Any, any road, I'm, I'm glad you settled in all right, though, Vera, because because I was a bit worried, you know, when we let you have this job. Because I was a bit nervous, because so, some of the lads who come in here, they're, they're a bit rough. Uh, you haven't had any, like, trouble, have you? With, with troublemakers, like, have you? No. You're the only one. <laughs> no, I mean it, Vera. You know, if, if, if you ever have any trouble, just, just don't hesitate to call. I'll, 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 I shall come, unless I'm not here. <laughs> No, I'm ever so good at, you know, dispelling disputes. I, I, I had to discipline one of the members about six months ago. Finished up in hospital, 17 stitches. You put a fella in hospital? That's not like you, Selwyn. No, I, I know that, Vera. I, I were provoked. <laughs> no, he, 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 used, he used an obscenity in the presence of ladies. What obscenity did he use? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Of course you can. No, I, I can't, honestly. It, it were obscene. <laughs> it was, honestly. I mean, I, I even looked up the medical term and that wasn't very nice, either. So you had to discipline him? Yeah. Well, what did you do? I told him not to say it again. <laughs> well, how did he get 17 stitches? What? Oh, he, he were a bit drunk, you see, and he, he didn't like me telling him off. And when he went to whip me, he slipped and hit his head on the one-armed bandit. <laughs> oh, I see. Any road, if you have any trouble, you, you know, you know, to send to, I'll, I'll come and give him a touch of the kung fu, eh? Hey? Like that. <laughs> Karate, that. I, I learnt that when I were in the army. I, I'd, I'd have been a black belt, but I didn't have time. <laughs> Honestly, I was ever so good at it. If, if I'd have really put all my strength behind that, you, you'd have had another lift up flap. <laughs> it's good that, though, ain't it? Ha! Oh, well, I didn't see the dash tree. What are you hell? doing, Selwyn? Urging his hand. He's explaining how he'll protect me from all the rough men that come in the club. We don't get rough men coming in here. We send them to the Liberal Club down the road. <laughs> Ooh, you got them for me. Anything for you, my darling. What's this, Invert? Can I have a look? Oh, hell. Hey, travel brochures. It's private. I, I like travelling. I, I did a lot of travelling when I were in the army. I thought you were at Catterick. I know, but all different parts of Catterick. <laughs> You know, I was in North Catrick, South Catrick, Scotch Corner, all over the place. These are great. Are, are, you, are you thinking of going away, are you, Vera? Now, whatever makes you think that? Well, you, I mean, you, you don't get a barrel load of knitting patterns unless you want to pull up, do you? <laughs> it's personal. It's a secret. Well, it can't be all that much of a secret. Raymond knows about it. Ah, but Raymond can keep a secret, can't you, Raymond? My lips are sealed. <laughs> Whereas you, you'll spread it all over Scarsdale. I won't. I haven't got a shovel big enough. <laughs> now, not one word or I'll kill you. I'm not going to say one word. I've warned you. <laughs> hey, do you know the phone number of the Scarsdale Evening News? <laughs> oh, Selwyn! And don't you dare say a word to your Morris. <laughs> Magic. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Come this year, we're up to something.
Italy, France. Hey, viva España. Cha, cha, cha. Hey, hey, oh, oh, what are you doing, Selwyn? I'm trying to get you in the mood. Oh, thanks, I'm quite happy with the one I've got. Hey, who's taking his bucket and spade to strange-sounding places with faraway names? <laughs> All those nuts you're eating must be rotting your brain. <laughs> hey, there's some smashing holidays in the Times, you know, all on the back page. Fantastic. Hey, I mean, why, why, why don't you go to Russia? Why don't you go to Russia and stay there? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you wish I would, didn't you? No, honestly, there's some fantastic holidays. You, you could go by Trans-Siberian Railway. You get some great numbers, unless it was snowing. No. No, how many times do you have to tell yourself? I have not, repeat, not made any plans to leave the country. No, no, you're not. <laughs> hey! But when you do go, don't go to Venice. If you have to walk home, you get your feet soaking wet. <laughs> hey, Raymond, where's everybody's favourite barmaid tonight? <laughs> as soon as she came in, she popped out again. <laughs> Something personal. <laughs> I like the way she pops out. <laughs> she lights up the bar like the sun shining across the Rhone Valley. Life must be uh, much more congenial with a beautiful creature like that behind the bar, Raymond. <laughs> oh, very pleasant, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, she's well made, I'll say that. Yeah, we were very lucky to get her. I heard that Bradford Northern were interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard they were looking for a big front row forward. <laughs> <laughs> and by God, she's got one. <laughs> <laughs> she goes out without Morris, you know. I beg your pardon? Vera, she, she goes out with our Morris. What's he on about? Well, I just said that Vera, she, she, she goes out with our Morris. All oh, right, we know. What do you keep saying it for? Well, because she does. <laughs> Here we are, Raymond. I've got some more travel brochures. I don't think you've seen these. Wh what do you keep getting these travel brochures for, then? Ah. If I told you that, you'd be as wise as me. Excuse me, can I squeeze past? Oh, I wish you would. Oh. <laughs> Rather have your job than mine, Raymond. Yeah, and he gets paid for it as well. <laughs> hey, it's a marvellous holiday here. Skiing in Switzerland. Ooh, that might suit us. <clears throat> Listen to this. Visit the romantic fairyland of Switzerland. After a day spent on the crisp slopes of the ski run, dine and dance in the flicker of a log fire and candlelight. Ooh. Or relax in the exotic pine chalets, alone and undisturbed. <laughs> oh, isn't that romantic? <laughs> Ooh, I think you found just the place for us. Mm. <laughs> hey, Ray. Uh, what's helping? Nothing. <laughs> she goes out without Morris, you know. <laughs> Where's our Morris man? He's gone to bed. When Vera's working late at the club, he generally goes to bed early with one of his railway books. <laughs> I don't know why he don't come down the club up now Vera's working out. I, I keep telling him I'll sign him in. Yeah, well, I think he feels a bit out of it, you know, him being teetotal. Ah, a bit of a problem, is that? <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, listen. If, if you know somebody's doing something wrong and, and there's another person who ought to know and, and don't know, ought you to tell them? Pardon? If somebody's doing something wrong and, and, and there's somebody else like who ought to know and don't know, ought you to tell them? Selwyn, what have you been doing? <laughs> I've been doing anything. You know I won't be cross if you own up and tell the truth. It's not me, Mum. It's somebody else. Oh, well, if it's somebody else, you should mind your own business, shouldn't you? Yeah, well, what I mean, though, if, 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 you know, like, somebody, is, you know, is, has been going out with this fella, this fella, you know, he's, he's got, a, like, a, a girlfriend, and, and they've been going out together, like, and, and you discover that, that, like, she's going to go, like, with another fella somewhere. Where to? Well, somewhere, like, exotic, like, you know. But, but the, the, the thing is, like, ought you to tell the fella, like, you know, the first fella? Well, he might not want to go. <laughs> No, I, I don't mean that, Mum. I mean, I, what I mean is, is it right for her, like, to go, say, skiing in Switzerland with the other fella? Well, that depends. She might not have been skiing in Switzerland. I believe it's very nice. The snow's a bit cold, but it's very nice. Anyway, as long as you haven't been doing anything silly, that's all I'm bothered about. Mum, I, 
I, I want your advice. Oh, don't waste your time talking to me. If it's advice you want, you'd better talk it over with our Morris. He's gone to bed, but he'll still be awake. I can't ask Morris. Mummy goes out with Vera. I know that. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think she's still going out with him. <laughs> he didn't say anything about it to me. No, I, but I, I think she's thinking of going skiing in Switzerland with Raymond. Oh, I see. That's probably why Morris has gone to bed. <laughs> 